Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 12th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, early, early than I wanted to, but dogs got me up. Um, got a boxer I'm watching again that has, I don't know, he just, every little sound he hears and stuff, he gets freaked out. He's a very neurotic dog, and kind of hand the butt, but... It was a last minute booking that um, didn't have an option to say no one, so it's working out. But it's just, get, he wakes us up early and he's just super high energy. He's one of the dogs you can't, can't really pet because you can't sit still to get petted kind of thing. It's just some of those issues. But got up, got the dogs out, um, basically let them have a little bit of the yard. Then I went ahead and after they went to the bathroom and stuff, got that taken care of. Went in, got the aggressive dog and got her out of the office put in the bedroom and then was really telling like quiet my wife's sleeping so try to keep her quiet real quick let the dogs in the house let her out in the yard so she'd go to the bathroom and then basically rotate it back through again so then put her back in the office with some food so she'd have her ability to get her her breakfast in her and all that good fun stuff and let my wife sleep in a little later so that way she'd get some more rest so I was outside jumped in the hot tub uh, from there just kind of chilled out um, waiting for my wife to get up. She got up and that, so could make a little more noise. Got the other two dogs fed. Got them. Got to be medicated. All the good fun that comes with that. Just that keeping track of everything. Um, the new dog just didn't want to eat much. He wanted to. He just. I think he's used to being the only dog in the house, so it's making him nervous and stuff and whatnot. So, but yeah. Um, there, just kind of got a few. Got a little bit of stuff done in the yard. Doing some yard work and stuff. Cutting up a bunch of trees. That are down, limbs are down, and whatnot, and all the good fun stuff that comes with it. Um, from there, I was able to get a few other things taken care of, nothing too much. Um, wife was doing a few things around the house, and I think she even got a computer, doing some work stuff that she needed to get taken care of. And then I was 9 a.m., I was supposed to be giving back um, the aggressive dog because I'd reached out last night and asked them what time they were picking up tomorrow. And they'd responded pretty late, but they're like, I don't know, I think they're like in Paris or something. It's a six hour time change or some junk. So they sent back a response saying nine. I'm like, cool, sounds like a plan. And then so like 8 30, 9 o'clock, I'm getting ready for that dog to go home. Because it goes home nine at 8 30, everything's ready to go. Nine rolls around, nothing. Usually I hear from. Them. They're really good about that kind of thing. So I was a little bit confused. So I was like, okay. 920 rolls around and they're never late for anything. And I knew their flight was supposed to get like 11 o'clock last night. So I was like, okay, that's weird, but whatever. So I reached out and I'm like, hey, did you mean 9 p.m. or 9 a.m.? And I never heard from them. So I was like, okay, now we got this weird thing where I can't really go very far from the house. I can't like go for a long run and stuff because I want to be there when they get back, which worst case scenario, if they like, hey, we're on our way, I'd be like, wait until I get back kind of thing. Would not be the end of the world, but it kind of feels weird in that scenario. So my whole day kind of was off feeling because I'm expecting any moment for them to say, yeah, I'm coming to pick my dog up in 20 minutes or 30 minutes or however long it takes to get here kind of thing. And didn't hear nothing from like all day. I just kept doing yard work, cutting up limbs and dragging brush around and stuff. and throwing logs around and all that kind of fun stuff that really was a lot more work than it should have been because I normally would just like chuck it up over in the wheelbarrow and my wheelbarrow the tires have one tube's flat and it won't hold air more than about 10 minutes or so and it's not worth keep airing back up constantly and um I didn't order new no no flat tires yet because I tried and it was like not gonna ship for like a month and Everything's back ordered by Amazon, so it's like hell it. Told my wife if she headed out towards like New Smyrna to um, pick me up some, I'd give her the information she needed if she'd be so kind. And then she never went out that way, so she never went out at all actually. So didn't go get me a hang, which my thought was as soon as the dog got picked up, I was gonna run over to New Smyrna, buy any tires from my wheelbarrow, which would have been fine, except they never came to pick the dog up. So now I'm working in the yard, dragging stuff around, and I don't want to take the chance of the dogs getting out so I can't have a gate open. So I'm literally carrying all my brush up to my fence and throwing the brush over a six foot fence, making a second pile in front of my fence, both sides of my house. I've got two zero piles. So I'm throwing limbs over my fence because I don't want, like I said, I don't want to risk dogs being in the yard with open gates. I just, I can't run that risk of a dog getting loose. It's absolutely terrifying. So 
yeah, that didn't. That was a lot more work than it should have been as I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, came back in, talked to my wife, and I'm like, hey, not for nothing, I'll take care of it. I'll, it's my, I do outside work, but if you want something to do, if you're bored, if you want some physical activity, you can go rake the yard up if you want, just pick up all the moss and stuff. And it's just whatever, if you want something to do. You're talking about, you know, you're on this diet, you want to move more, you want to eat less, that kind of thing. And this would be a deal, and then she didn't do it. So I was like, okay, cool. So she stayed there and basically hung out on doing whatever she was doing. I don't know, I was outside all day working in the yard and stuff. So yeah, we was hanging out with it. Um, I went ahead and finally decided it was time to go for my run. So I went ahead and I got rained like three different times. So I would be working in the yard. It would start drizzle raining and then I'd be like, screw it. So I take a break, play with the dogs a little more, interact with them and watch a little YouTube. And then I would go back out more in the yard. I have three different times. I finally gave up on the idea of the yard work at that point. And then uh, got late enough. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get my run in. So went and ran, I don't know, about 10K, I think it was. I don't know how far it was. I didn't set out to run a certain distance. I just went and ran, looked at the flooding damage and some of that kind of stuff in the neighborhood and all the good fun that comes with it. Holy crap, that generator is really loud. But um, got back from there, ended up cooking dinner, had um, rice and salmon, and basically we ran this little meal. Then I heard from the dog owners, and they're picking up the dog. 9 a.m. 9 tomorrow morning, because somehow they're in the calendar, it has it down as today, then we went home, not tomorrow. So then when she saw the time change thing, the pick up tomorrow, she thought it meant Sunday still, so she didn't clarify it, which is shame on me for not clarifying um, the what time are you picking the dog up at 9 a.m. Are you picking the dog up on Saturday as opposed to sending the word tomorrow? So I would have had not wasting my whole day waiting around for the dog to get picked up that doesn't get picked up till tomorrow so but once I do that got that all done uh, got back from my run and before I cook dinner decided to go ahead and drag some of the brush from the fence line out to the street so in case they come through and pick up our brush I don't think it'll be happening this soon in our area but just in case um, drug a bunch of limbs and stuff out to the road and made my pile excuse me I got the hiccups so I went ahead and got that done, headed back in, gave myself a shower, dinner was done, ate some salmon and rice, and wife had salmon and vegetables, and we had watched a little bit of Young Sheldon, and watched a little bit of Fire Rescue, it's a newer TV show on Netflix, and it's cheesy and shitty and not even anywhere close to factually based at all, and it's one of those things where I wish I would just stop watching it, but I started the season, so I kind of want to see how the season ends. So. I just keep watching it. It's a guilty pleasure. I'm not really paying attention to this stuff. I just kind of put it on. Most of the time it gets watched when, like we watch, I'm watching Young Sheldon. If dinner taking longer than one episode of Sheldon, I'll go ahead and turn on Fire Rescue to kind of fill the noise and have something on while I finish eating. So yeah, from there, headed back outside, um, chilled the dogs, basically got them all fed again and stuff, and then rode to the dogs in and out all night long because of the aggressive dogs, that's what I do. So but yeah, that's pretty much all we have right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching